<laughs> hey folks, how you doing? Welcome back, it's Charlie. It is Thursday, June 18th, 2020. It's about 7.05, I think, in the morning. Uh, I am here in La Cunada, Flint Ridge this morning. And uh, that there is the La Cunada uh, horse and kind of walking trail. It's, it's, it's like I said, up here there's a lot of uh, uh, equestrian, so uh, kind of like Bradbury. Bradbury is another place that I, that's a horse friendly little little town and I love it there uh, but yeah it's really nice I've, I've yet to go through that little trail it looks <sighs> right now we're kind of socked in this this morning it's not really fog it's a big marine layer and uh, we are really really socked in as we say out here uh, and it's it's so heavy that it kind of falls like mist and actually the the bus had the wipers on and everything so uh, and looking down that walkway is kind of Stephen King-ish. It's really kind of eerie. This is a, it's a very beautiful church here. St. Bede. The Venerable. Ah, well, folks. Uh, we are coming here to the, another end of the week coming into the weekend uh, I don't know how it is in your area please comment but here we are pretty much uh, pretty much open you know and as such obviously you couldn't tell because uh, we've been riding here Los Angeles well not riding excuse me we've been pro protesting the rioting came soon after that so We've been protesting here in Los Angeles most definitely for going on four weeks now, I believe. Wow. That's, uh, I think that's, that is most definitely something for the history books. Uh, it's just crazy. Every day is something, it's something new, you know, ever since, ever since we first all started getting worried about this stupid nightmare that was hitting us um, it just happens to be most definitely one thing after another and uh, you know I know a lot of people and I certainly had that frame of thought uh, going into this and about maybe three weeks into this when it started really weighing on me thinking boy this is a really this is a really pretty effed up year 2020 is uh not fair but you know honestly i've said this a couple of the times i've come to thoroughly embrace 2020 uh it's not that it's made me a stronger person because i don't i don't i don't buy into that stuff what doesn't kill you makes you stronger it doesn't emotionally make you stronger to me and it doesn't make, make you physically stronger it just it's just knowledge. It's just awareness. You've learned something, whether it be a good experience or a bad experience. It does not make you stronger. You only gain knowledge from it. So, yeah, I know I have a I have a problem with a lot of uh, sayings like that. So, but it's definitely it's brought my it's brought my daughter first and foremost back into my life. It's allowed. Uh, my daughter and I to be reunited and yes um, my ex too because we're talking you know so and as I said there's there's still a lot to be talked about so you know there's to me it's it's water under the bridge but there's still there's still always room for discussion uh, when needed or as needed, or most definitely. <clears throat> I think it, I think it's something. Ooh. Wow, big difference between just a few weeks ago when it was empty, there was no traffic, and you can hear a pin drop as you're walking here on Foothill Boulevard. Uh, real quick, I digress. This is the uh, area where the Locking Out of Flint Ridge 
float was being uh, assembled by volunteers. It has now been reclaimed by faculty and student parking. I think it's faculty parking. Ooh, horse poop. I think it's faculty parking for the preparatory school over here. But, uh, yeah, well, you know, uh, we just, every day is something different, like I said, so every day we have to take something and learn from it because the way I see things most definitely from here on in, at least until through the, the new year, every day is going to be a new experience. We are going to be learning a lot about, well, most definitely about a lot about our country. And uh, as we're all learning, a lot of its weaknesses and vulnerabilities and especially the failures in the infrastructure. Whether it be left, right, or straight up your middle, it doesn't matter. We have, we have really been tested as far as uh, our politics and our, most definitely our infrastructure. Wow. Woo. But, uh, you know, and I say this, I say this most, most sincerely, you know, we really, we really don't have the politicians too much to blame. You know, we, we share just as much on, on the blame of the failure of all this because, you know, we, we've accepted it. We've, we've given power. We've given unquestionable power to these men and women that sit and dictate almost rule in a sense but warning but tell us how things should be and we just take it for that and we don't we don't we, we just we just we're like in a high chair being fed by mom and you know this is good for you and that's bad for you and if we don't like it we just kind of make a sour face and don't accept that little teaspoonful of uh, baby food that we may now like see <clears throat> that's just it we, we turn our heads you know we just we just keep kind of turning the heads and as, as we get tired of doing that we'll just say all right you open your mouth and take a bite full and eh, maybe it's not so bad after all or maybe I just don't like it and I'll just dribble it out but that's see that's that's us you know the government is mother or father whatever the parent may be and we the people are the children in the high chair being spood fed and and we do this throughout our adult life when we have the capability of thinking correctly and speaking for ourselves and making judgments for and we're, we're, we're still allowing ourselves to be spoon-fed so I, I, I share just as much of the blame I admit it you know I take the blame too but I've I've done my best, especially being homeless. You know, I've, I've always questioned and always looked. And I'm tired of, I'm tired of all this, so. We'll see what kind of changes. Tomorrow will be another completely different day, as, as you folks know. So, one day at a time. One day at a time. All right, my friends. I'm gonna let it go here. Uh, I'm gonna go see about going to Golden Donuts and go get a donut. I'm gonna avoid Mickey D's and go get me a donut. I had a donut th yesterday morning. The chocolate croissants are like the bomb. And I'm hoping to have a ham and cheese croissant because that would be awesome. All right, my friends, I'm gonna end it here and I will post this once I get home. This is my Friday, so I am off Friday and Saturday. And then I go back to work for a day or two and then I'm off one day and then I go back to work and blah, 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 blah. So. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm working. I am employed. Thank God. Oh, thank you, God. All right, my friends. So you folks take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Busy, busy. But I always take care of yourselves first. Love one another. Trust one another. Be kind to each other. Help one another. Don't take today for granted or any other day thereafter. Live for the moment. Pull down your pants and slide on that ice. 
If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, what we're doing, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification button. Tell your friends and family about me about us, what's going on. And uh, I'll be locking out in a heck of a busy this morning. I miss those mornings when I was getting to work and walking. It's so quiet. All right, my friends. I love you all. Be smart. Stay safe. Be patient. Be kind. And I'm not just BSing about that. I love you. Take care. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.